Okay, this is the frame that that I built for. It's, it's just like the other one that I have done. It's the same size and everything. This will be to the control panel for Shelby. Uh, the one for the yard, like I say, is much longer and a little bit wider. Uh, anyway, it's just basically, it's made out of one by fours and a one by two. I put this one by two down here. Uh, and I'll show you in a minute why I really put that there, just not for the bracing, I use that. And with the last control panel, really I didn't want to open up the last control panel. I learned on the last control panel that I needed some type of hinge. Well, it took me a long time to figure out what type of hinge I needed, so I decided I'd use a dowel rod and just nail the dowel rod in in on this side, drill a little hole in the dowel rod. And that way it, it allow the dowel rod a little flexibility. And I'm gonna use these wire uh, holders that I've had for many, many years. I'm gonna use that on the back side of the control panel. So it'll give me the hinge effect. And then of course I'll have to put some type of safety strap uh, on it on one side or the other to hold it, keep it from falling all the way down and pulling wires out, which I don't want. So that's basically how that'll go. And then I've got this part here I'll show you. This is the face, the face of it. Uh, this is, I just, it's just a piece of masonite uh, hardboard that I have uh, painted painted it black and I taped off where my where my lines will be and oops sorry about that I taped that off because I learned on the last one that I done that, that if you paint it black you can't see where you want your lines. So I put I put like one coat of black on there and then I taped my lines off and put a couple more coats of black on there and I couldn't really tell. So this one I just went ahead and taped over the masonite and then I'll put the pin strop. The pin stropping is automotive pin stropping. Is all it is. I, I get it at O'Reilly's. Uh, it's a quarter inch. Uh, they make several different colors of it. I went with the silver and the white. The silver is going to be on the main lines, and the white will be in the yard, in the yard leads and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not really sure about this Shelby section. It may be a different color, or I may I may use white on it. I, I still ain't done here with the Shelby section because uh, it's going to be like one of the last parts I do when I build the layout so I'm not exactly sure yet of exactly how my track is going to lay in here. Uh, once once I figure that out then I'll roughly come back in here and put pins dropping but it won't it won't be too hard I don't believe. But anyway that's like I say that's the control panel. I went ahead and I mask all these off, drilled all my holes, and I'm just ready to start putting in switches now. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, and next, I'll show you. I'll show you the switches and stuff that I use on it. Uh, give you an idea how that is. So, just a minute. Okay, this is basically all you all you really need to wire up the panel and. You know, depending on how you wire it up, you may not even need that little connector. Uh, this is basically the rotary switch. It is a, like I said, it's a double pole, six position rotary switch. Uh, I've taken this one. I had to ohm, ohm these out and make sure what went to where. And I probably, you probably won't be able to see it because my lighting is not that good right here. Uh, camera out. Let the camera focus. Focus. Well, it's not wanting to focus that close. But anyway, I had to ohm, had to ohm the switch out when I first got them, figure out exactly where I was going to solder, solder my wires. So I went in here after I've got it ohmed out and I marked this one switch. <laughs> And got zero for the off and then one two three four five uh, comes around here and I use this um, each time I do a control panel each time I really do a switch because 
you know, it's, it'd be real easy to solder it on the wrong terminal and then you have a problem that'd take you a long time figuring out what was going on. Because uh, if you're like me, if something like that happens, I go into a panic attack and anxiety. I get high anxiety from stuff like that. Now I can't figure it out because I'm even more confused. But uh, that's basically all there is to the switch. Uh, you know, if it goes out on one side, you can always come over here and run it off the other side. This, this one whole side here is you don't really use. Uh, it just works in concordance with this one here. It'd be the same. It'd be like zero, one, two, three, four, five, and you come off of that pole. Come off of that pole. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes I keep falling out of screen. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, of course you want to get your knobs. You go on there. Uh, they had. They've got a couple different selections. They've got this type of knob, and then they got a chicken head knob. The chicken head knobs are cool, but I didn't know if I'd have enough room or not on some of the control panels to use the chicken head knobs. Uh, this is your turnout switch. Uh, it's, a, it's a mini switch. I think it's a mini switch. Um, yeah, and it's a two pole uh, double throw switch. <laughs> And like I say, you can look at DJ's trains and he'll show you how to basically wire that little switch up. There's not much to it. Uh, kind of, These are kind of small, but I needed the space. He uses the bigger toggle switches. But I use these because uh, I, I kind of needed the space and they'll work just as well. And then you've got your little button. Uh, all this stuff is like really cheap with the LED switch. You guys really need to check it out. Whether you're doing DC or DCC, Certainly, you know, at times you'll probably need something like this on, on uh, different stuff. This, these here, is, of course, it's just your regular terminal block. These are kind of neat because, uh, uh, I'm not be able to get this off, they fit pretty tight, but it's got like a, a clear lens over it that keeps stuff from falling in there and shorting, shorting your system out. Uh, that, I really like that little outfit, but I use uh, these uh, to put back here on that one by two I showed you in the other one. Uh, let's see if I can get it in here right. Like I say, I'm doing this by myself right here. So. But it will like sit on that board and I'll take like the number one position and run it to one of these. And and that way, with each each different rotary switch, will each I'll have a connection for them, and I'll have one main power coming off like the number one power cab. It'll come into here, number one wheel, and now I can run all of these. You know, it gives me like six positions. You can wire them in where you can, you can get them uh, all six wired together, and I've got I've got twelve places here that I can run a rotary switch into and I've got five of these for each control panel that sit together uh, like that I guess I went off the screen again but they uh they, they just sit side to side like I say ones for cab one cab two cab three cab four and so on. Uh, that makes the wiring pretty handy right there and basically that's it uh, so uh that's all the pieces that you need. Like I say, I've got a whole bunch of these. Uh, I've, I've got to order a few more, but I ordered a whole bunch of each of them because I knew I was going to need a whole bunch of each of them. So I ordered a whole bunch of them, and, and uh, I, they're really cheap. You can't beat LED switches price. Okay, now, the one part that I didn't really cover on, on the last thing was, uh, was I, I know a lot of you say, well, okay, you got it hinged, uh, you got your safety strap on, but how are you going to hold it up there? I'm, I'm going to use Velcro, uh, put Velcro on that, and then Velcro on here, and uh, I will staple this in, and I will use super glue uh, for this side because the glue on the Velcro str strips isn't that good of a glue it, it won't hold uh i found that out sometime back on a previous uh little control panel i was building 
But uh, that's how that will stay up there. The Velcro will hold up there, and then you'll be able to just fold it down, and the safety strip will catch it from falling all the way down. Uh, so we're going to get into the wiring of the switches. Uh, probably start off with like these. Uh, oops, where do you go? There he is. So you know they're just little micro switches, and you uh, you go in there and you solder them, and you have to cr you have to crisscross this wire here in order so when you throw it get back in the camera Steve there you go okay so when you throw it it uh it will actually you know cross over and throw your turn out which way you rather uh, it's just basic uh, one thing I do recommend on these and the rotary switches is always use your heat shrink tubing uh, for a couple reasons uh, one, I like using it because it keeps from things from falling down in there, maybe shorten stuff out. Uh, also, it kind of helps hold the wire on there. If, if uh, I, I have pulled the wires off of the other control panel, uh, maybe I didn't get it soldered on there real good or something, but it didn't take much of a pull, and and because it wasn't heat shrinked, it, it came off. So I started heat shrinking them, and I have had no trouble at all out of them. So then you got the rotary switch. A little more, a little more to it. Uh, let's see, find the camera. Where did the camera go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so you got your rotary switch, and you got your wires going into the back of the rotary switch. Okay, like I said, you know each one of them's got a place, and and, and especially like this one, you know you definitely want to use your heat shrink tubing on that. Uh, I use internet cable or Ethernet, however you want to say it, the blue uh, cable. I probably use just regular phone cable since I'm using just six or five positions. I really only need five wires. The blue, the blue internet cable, it has like eight wires, so I have to cut uh, three of the extra wires off of here, and I got them all uh, color coded each one of them is wired the same with the same colors so there's no confusion on that it's all schematic down and uh, so far I've had no problems with these at all uh, I guess it works a little better with my hand in front of you might be able to see a little better like I say it just you know don't be scared to do the soldering watch Mike Pfeiffer and you can do it if you use his techniques and and hit and equipment like he's using these solder and stuff uh it really works great i uh after after doing the other control panel and doing this one i almost feel like i'm a professional solder now because because uh, you know i could do one a lot quicker now and i did when i first started i can guarantee you that but yeah like i say and this is like this blue one that'll be going to the uh lead on the track so you know whichever position you got it in is sending that particular signal to the track so there he is <laughs> so doing this by myself is kind of hard so but there you, there you go uh, and uh, that's basically all there is to it I'll kind of show you how I put them in there and uh, and maybe and kind of show you what it looks like. I don't know if I'll get into exactly just wiring the whole thing yet or not. But but uh, but basically that's that's really about all all you, all there is to it. And uh, like I say, it works really well. I've got one more one more panel to solder my switches up on this one. This particular panel here, I've got I've got everything uh, soldered together. I've got all my switches ready. The only thing I do is just mount them to the board and uh, run my pin stripe in on there and uh, it'll be ready to go.